I wanted to teach you guys one of my favorite Japanese words. It's kuchi sabishi. Now kuchi means mouth and sabishi means lonely. So put those together and kuchi sabishi means lonely mouth. And it's the idea of your mouth wanting to taste something or like being lonely. So you're eating even though you're not hungry, which basically describes my entire life. And a lot of you guys watching know that I do a lot of videos geared around food in Japan and 7-Eleven and trying new snacks. So I just thought that you guys would think it was really cool to learn that word, kuchi sabishi, lonely mouth. We just cut to a commercial. Today's video is sponsored by Boksu. Discover Japan through snacks. My favorite thing to do is eat my way around Japan and the videos that always perform best on my channel are always food and snack related. So I really think that you guys are going to enjoy this partnership and the code that we have for you guys. What separates Boksu from other Japan subscription boxes is that they are the only subscription snack box that partners with small family owned businesses and some of those businesses are over 100 years old. The boxes are handpicked every month and they're curated around a different theme. So you have 12 months out of the year to try 12 different boxes. In each box, you're going to get between 20 and 25 snacks. This wouldn't be an appropriate Her Atlas advertisement if I didn't try some of these. These addictive seaweed sheets are battered, fried, and flavored with native Japanese sudachi citrus. Seaweed on one side and then the tempura on the other. What? Okay. These are amazing. Really hard to describe because I've never had anything like them. I want to say thank you again for Boksu for sponsoring this video. I really hope you guys take advantage of the discount that they are offering you guys today. Make sure you check the description for a discount code of 10%. You can save up to $44 and tag me and Boksu if and when you get your box in because this is just like amazing. I thought it would be really fun to kind of get you guys invested in where I go to lunch every once in a while. So if you like videos like this, just let me know. And I did a poll on Instagram asking where you guys wanted to go to lunch virtually. I don't know if that sounds nerdy or not, but I thought it was really exciting. And a lot of people were saying ramen. And then I had a good amount of people saying curry. Here's the problem. Um, my husband and I share a car and since today is my work from home day, he took the car instead of his motorcycle and I don't have my license to drive the motorcycle so I have to ride my bike and I'm kind of in the mood for curry anyway because it's kind of overcast outside so we're gonna go get curry even though like nobody cared if that's where I was gonna go. So if you're watching this, I hope you're not disappointed. Everybody knows that ramen is a really big food cuisine here in Japan, but not a lot of people know how good the curry is. I'm going to change really quick. I'm just kind of in like cozy clothes and we're gonna get on my bike and we're gonna ride downtown to a small curry shop called Mojo Curry. If you're looking to get curry in Japan, it's called kare, not curry. So if that's what you're looking for, and you're trying to ask around, try using the word kare. I need you to hold down the fort. Don't let anybody in except your dad and me, okay? I will walk you when I get back and we'll have a good time. But you can't be sad, okay? It's gonna be fine. This is my dog Gus Gus, by the way. Um, he is darling. He has a bit of an attitude and does not like being alone. Partially because um, I smother him. Bye. Bye, guys, guys. I've never seen anyone filling the vending machines before. What a rare sighting. It does happen. There's like a running joke that nobody knows who takes care of them, and now we know. There's proof. No longer a mystery.
This is where the Kare shop is. That's it on the second floor. And there's a staircase right here that we're gonna go up. You'll see these textured pathways all over Japan. These are for people who are hard of seeing. So they can just follow these and get their way around the city by themselves. Don't worry, it's closed today. It doesn't say that online or the calendar downstairs. Um, so we'll save this for another time. Let's go uh, find somewhere else to eat. This actually happens quite often in Japan where you might go to a restaurant and it will just be closed for whatever reason. Um, it's not listed on their website that today is a normal day that they're closed. And I feel like this happens a lot more often because of COVID. I typically rely on TripAdvisor a lot, but again, they just don't normally update their sites. So I'm just going to make a plan B because I'm still hungry and we still gotta get food. This is the train station we would normally take. It's actually brand new and really nice inside. Believe it or not, I have never been to Coco's Kare, so we're gonna go there and try it out. And then this little sign is actually part of the Go To Eat campaign for Yamaguchi. So they take discounts um, for the Go To campaign in Japan that's happening for locals to entice local travel. こんにちは。あ、すみません。自転車自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、自転車。あ、
Um, it's actually considered like disruptive to be loud in most places in general. Um, but yeah, the food was really, really good. I highly recommend it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up. And if you think that we should make this like a thing where you guys help pick where I'm going to eat so I can review them, just let me know. These videos are super easy to make and I got to eat all the time. So it would be really easy to add on my channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys on Sunday for my weekly vlog. Bye guys.